started, we built a little bit of a bio element here. We want to think about the other ways that we can customize it. Lauren, what are some of the ways you might go about customizing this bio? I think there are a ton of options and we have a couple of examples here that we've done to kind of show you the real variety. Um, first, look for inspiration and there's tons of inspiration that you can find. Other folks' portfolios, um, friends, but also in the community. The Figma community is a really great place to go and check out what other people have for portfolios. So just by searching portfolios, searching design inspiration, searching for illustrations, all of those things, you can find really great stuff in the community here. So one of the biggest things though to remember is inspiration is key. You want to be doing your own work, but taking this for inspiration, especially since it's your portfolio, you want to be showing off your stuff. One of the things that I did to change my header here was I don't love having my photo in my portfolio. I like to keep it kind of, I, like, I like to be mysterious. Instead, I put my logo here. So I put my logo at the top. I kept it super similar to the um, original idea, the our portfolio concept, but I changed the font a little. I threw in a little emoji here because um, I kind of feel like I look like that emoji. <laughs> so um, customizing it just a little bit, but also I see that you kind of went completely different and I love it. I love what you did here. Show us, talk, talk to us about what you did here. So as you mentioned, I took inspiration from the community. There's a great community design from Alfredo, a designer. Someone who's not a professional designer, I need that inspiration. So I went there, I saw what he was doing with his design and I made it mine. So I used some of the gradients that he had for the colors, but picked uh, some of the different gradient options that he had. Tried to get a little custom with my photo and give it a little bit of a border and then brought in, of course, a Fig Jam sticker because I love Fig Jam. Love it. <laughs> to really just send it home and make it mine. Amazing. And you have the gradient in the text too. And That's man, outstanding. I... <laughs> Very impressive. Again, starting from a template. Love it. It's all built in. <laughs> Amazing. I love that. And then we have these other two here with showing off how we can do all sorts of different stuff. I love that we can kind of have a custom shape here, similar to what you did for your image image here. We can plop an image right in here. Different colors, um, the light theme versus the dark theme. I love that. Kind of adding in buttons here too. Um, not just text, showing off all different things and then layering with the shapes as well. And then kind of keeping it a little bit more minimal here too. I love that, that as well. I've seen so many different portfolios. Some folks go really hard on illustration and design and some are completely text-based. And I think it's totally just a, a way to show off your personality. What is more you? Do whatever is, whatever feels right to you. Um, so I love this option as well here. You mentioned um, using the community as inspiration, but another thing that we could do is publish your own to the community once you're done. Absolutely. So if you're really proud of what you make, try publishing it to the Figma community and then someone else can take inspiration from what you've created.